What's going on, Sneaker Talk family? Welcome back to a brand new sneaker shopping vlog. Now, as you guys know, recently, a bunch of Yeezys have come out. The Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Cloud Whites, the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Citrons, and today, we're gonna be sneaker shopping for some Yeezys. Now, in the past, Yeezys have been sitting in Toronto. Toronto's a big city, and the demand for sneakers is very, very high, especially Yeezys, and there's a ton of resellers in Toronto as well. So, it's always shocking to me whenever I see Yeezys sitting, and I felt like like the Citrons would sit considering the kind of colorway it was being so close to the Lundmark 350s and honestly being overshadowed by a lot of the better colorways that came out this year and of course the Cloud Whites were better than the Citrons in my opinion. So we'll see if any of the Yeezys are sitting this shopping vlog and before we get going downtown I do want to let you guys know we will be live streaming tonight on Twitch with myself and my girlfriend running some Apex Legends giving away some free sneakers as well twitch.tv slash sneaker talk CA and I'll catch you guys over on there. With that said, let's get going downtown Toronto to the Adidas store, Eden Center, and a whole bunch of other sneaker stores and see if the Yeezys are sitting. Now before we take a look at the sneakers, let's quickly take a look at the clothing selection they have at the Adidas Original Store here in Toronto. They have a bunch of the Addy Color Collection still available from track jackets to this black and white one as well. They have a black jacket which looked pretty simple, pretty clean for the fall season. And this last piece, this black and green anorak jacket, I mess with these heavy. Next up, let's take a look at the slippers or sandals at the front of the store on display. You guys know Pharrell just did a brand new collection. And then here's the back wall, which we'll get into some more detail in a moment. But here's a quick little look at what you guys can expect to see. Now, starting off with some of the shoes here, we have the GR stuff that's sitting, the superstars, the Stan Smiths, all the typical kind of stuff. Next up though, we got some heat. We got the Arizona Continental Volk right here with that Arizona Ice-T upper, canvas upper, really clean. I love Arizona Ice-T and I still think it's really dope that they did a collaboration with Adidas on these. This pair on screen is actually the colorway that Adidas did send over, so thank you Adidas for these. Next up, let's take a look at more of the Adidas Originals. Here's a general look and now we'll take a detailed look at the Oswegos. Now, I love the Adidas Oswego. My most recent video actually, before this, I uploaded a video talking about just the Oswego, so check that out if you haven't yet already. But I love the Oswego. They're pumping out a ton of great colorways for the fall and winter season. But next up, we have the NMDs. We have a couple of NMDs. You guys know NMDs aren't as hyped as they used to be, but they are still trucking along, throwing out a few colorways here and there. I like the gradient print on the boost right there. Next up, let's take a look at the Adidas Night Jogger selection that they had here. They had two of the new collaborations with White Mountaineering available. These two colorways are really clean and probably one of the better Night Joggers that they've released. So this is the first colorway. And then next up, this is the other more loud bold colorway that they did if you guys don't know about white mountaineering they're a japanese streetwear brand that often collaborates with adidas they always do apparel and sneakers every single season so it makes sense they finally collaborate on the night jogger next up we have the new pharrell nmds that just came out they did a huge massive collection with a bunch of nmds so all of these have thick thick hiking outsole gum bottoms if you're not a fan of these they also did a basketball shoe as well the boost shoe wears i believe and they also did some solar hues so if you love your ultra boost you like that comfort the solar hues are just there at the same level they also have a black colorway if you're not as bold and vibrant you know on those rainbow hue colorways next up we have a look at the sandals now they did do a bunch of colorways for these and i know summer is over but you know if you were in an area that does have sand you know maybe a hotter climate i would check these out these look pretty cool to be honest with you i like the little details on the insole with a little diagram that has body parts that aren't actually on your foot really clean looking sandals by the way if you guys wear socks with sandals let me know in the poll up top if you do or if you don't. Now onto some heat, the 4D selection. They have some Alpha Edge 4Ds right here, which looks super, super fresh. I believe this is the carbon pack. So they have the black and the white colorway. They also have the ZX4000 4D. I love these shoes as well. And they have the brand new Ultra Boost 19 in a few different colorways. These ones remind me of those regional exclusive packs. And I really like this white and red colorway for the Adidas Ultra Boost 19s. And the moment of truth, the moment of truth has arrived. They have these Adidas. Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Citrons still sitting at the Adidas store. They're still sitting. They also have a bunch of cool Adidas cleaning product. I didn't know that they were into that kind of stuff, but they do now have them. And they also had all the Yeezy Boots available, the boots for the winter and fall. Now I was hyped. They had a bunch of sizes available for these Yeezys. So of course we copped a pair. Now we 
are at the Toronto Eden Center, one of the best malls when it comes for sneaker shopping in Toronto. If you're a tourist and you have a very short shopping time available, definitely stop by this mall. They have three great sneaker stores, Champs, Foot Locker, and Foot Action. We are going to Foot Action right now, my favorite of the three. Starting off with the Nike selection, they have the Evolution of Swoosh Pack available. So I have the Air Max Pluses, they have the Element React 55s in two different colorways, along with one more colorway of the Air Max Plus that I showed you guys earlier. Checking out the Air Max 97. Now I like these. These are probably one of my favorite Air Max 97 colorways. Retail price is $225 plus tax and they're on sale for 25% off. I like the icy blue hits and I love that blue and black combo on the upper with the carbon fiber hit. Checking out the Air Max 1 selection, we have the inside out pack with three different colorways. I'll have a review for this one very, very soon. But if you did take an L on the off-white Air Max 90s and you like those deconstructed, reconstructed kind of vibes, the inside out Air Max 1s are definitely shoes you should check out. They also have a blue and yellow colorway, which looks really clean. Sort of gives off these OG kind of vibes, but it isn't an OG colorway. We also had a few colorways of the Amor Up Tempo sitting. This was a size 10 for the Tiffany colorway, which was surprising to find because it's a reseller's colorway, a reseller's colorway, reseller's size. We also have the camouflage and the denim on denim on denim. Taking a look at the Air Force One selection, we got the Type Pack with the black colorway. Review of these coming soon. And when I say reviews coming soon, guys, I got lots of sneaker reviews on the way. Next up, we got the Jordan selection with the Obsidian Air Jordan 1 Mid. We also have the New York Knicks Air Jordan 3 that just dropped with the Jumpman on the back. And we also have the Game Royal Jordan 12. Sort of like the flu games, but blue instead of red. Now, before we get over to the Adidas selection, here's a look at the Jordan Legacy 312s on sale for $100. And they also have these really, really strange Vanskit highs. I don't know what they were thinking with this particular colorway. On to the Adidas section, we got the NMD wall. So they had a few different colorways available. And of course, they have the Pharrell sitting here as well, the brand new NMD collection. I'm tempted to get that black and gum bottom pair, but I just got so much NMDs. They also got all of the Yeezy boots available and the 350 V2s, which we are on the hunt for today. So here's a quick little detailed look at the boots. I'll be reviewing one of these very soon. But yeah, here they are, Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Citroens, also sitting at the foot action at the Toronto Eden Center location. Now they only had sizes eight and a half, 11 and 12. So I actually picked up a size 11, which we'll get into later. So that was your look at Foot Action Toronto. I absolutely love shopping there. Next up, we're gonna be going to Full Locker inside of the Eden Center. This store doesn't usually let me film like ever, but this entire vlog was pretty much filmed with my cell phone. So we were able to get some footage. So I'll show you guys what they had. Taking a look at the Converse selection, we got the Converse Chuck Taylor 1970s. This has like a Velcro patch color scheme and a vibe to him. So the entire side panel, as you can take off. They of course have the classic 1970s and these were strange. Transform these over to the Converse ERX 270 1970s. Now these shoes are sold out at sneaker boutiques like Capsule, but they did have them sitting here at Full Locker in the two colorways, the black and the gray. I'm honestly not too sure how I feel about these shoes. At first I was like, whoa, what are these monstrosities? But they are starting to grow on me, but I don't think I'll be buying these anytime soon. So we ended up buying another pair of Yeezys at Full Locker. So here's me walking out with a few pairs now. And next up, we're gonna be heading over to Champ Sports, the final sneaker store inside of the Toronto Eden Center. They got the Hot Wheels collaboration right here on the Puma RSX. And of course, they also had the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Citroens sitting. Now they had every size available at Champ Sports. So definitely stop by Full Locker and Champs and Foot Action, wherever you can at your local mall to see if the Yeezys are still sitting at your mall. Last but not least, we're gonna be checking out Livestock. Now Livestock is by Queen and Spadina, more of the fashion district in Toronto. So if you're a tourist, I definitely recommend you guys check it out over there. They usually have some great stuff. And I was actually able to buy a pair of the Yeezys on their website and have it ordered. So I picked it up in the store. But I'll show you guys what they also had at Livestock and I'll be back in my room to show you guys all of today's pickups. So checking out Livestock, they have the new Nike and Gyaksu or Gyaksu collaboration. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not familiar with the name or brand at all, but the pieces are really dope. I really like these. They have red pieces. They have these like mustard yellow ones as well. Here's a look at the shoes from the collection. I like the little 
little flower detail there on the side and I definitely get some like Tokyo Japanese vibes from these I'm not sure what it is it might be the pink flower it might be the logo on the back but these are really clean Nike running sneakers definitely an underrated collaboration for this year they have the mustard colorway as well I wish they did more of a bolder yellow color scheme but this mustard is definitely more of a fall appropriate kind of colorway in my opinion still a really dope shoe but uh, I'm just gonna have to pass on these for now they also have two colorways of the Nike Cortez now this is a, a throwback kind of one like an old old logo the swoosh completely like embroidered in and then they also have this falcon logo on the side as well i'm not too crazy about these ones i prefer the regular nike swoosh but these have those real retro throwback vibes if you know you know next up we have the nike and undercover collaboration on the nike daybreak this is by jun takahashi of course the artist uh, the designer behind undercover the japanese streetwear brand we also got the nike shocks right here these caught me off guard i wasn't expecting to see these in person honestly at the store i like that holographic print throughout the shoe really really pops but just not my style of sneaker in my opinion we also got the brand new puma rsx by tayakasha a shanghai based artist and streetwear brand they have a bunch of cool pieces with puma from apparel and this is their rsx i love the rsx i love seeing the new collaborations they pumped out and this is a perfect colorway for the fall season next up we have the converse pro leather mid ibn jasper collaboration now these are straight fire easily one of the best collaborations of the year in my opinion opinion being a huge converse head i love these shoes i know some people will disagree with me and they wouldn't put these anywhere in their top 10 sneakers of the year but in my opinion ibn jasper nailed it on this release the construction the look all the details on the shoe i'll end up buying a pair sooner or later so stay tuned to the channel for an in-depth review and look So we are back after a long day of shopping and now, now it's time to show you guys how many Yeezys I picked up and I picked up an absolute ton of them. So with that said, try and guess in your head right now how many Yeezys you think I bought. You might have an idea based off of, you know, the vlog so far. So starting off with the Adidas store. The Adidas store, we picked up a size 10 right there. So let me pull these out of the box. Ah, there we go. And here we have it the Citroen Yeezy Boost 350 V2. These are like if the Statics and the Sesames had a baby. This is what that baby would look like. These are in my size, a size 10. So I know the review is a little bit overdue because the Yeezys came out about a week ago, but I'll have the review up very, very soon for these bad boys. And of course, if you guys want to stay up to date on other sneakers, make sure you guys subscribe to my second channel, Sneaker Talk 365. I'll leave it linked down below. We're going to start uploading on there and this channel like crazy with a lot of sneaker reviews or a lot you guys came here for next up next up what do we got here what do we got here so we have another box in this bag right here this is a foot locker bag and uh, i forget what size exactly we got the receipt right here forget exactly what size we got for the citrons there at foot locker we got a size 10 so we have two size 10s here of the yeezy boost 350 v2 citrons let me pull this out of the box and bam here we go once again another citron yeezy boost 350 v2 Next up, we have again another Yeezy pickup. This time, it was the ones I picked up from Foot Action. And uh, Foot Action, I think, had the least stock available out of all the stores that we went to. So here we have it, another pair. And this one here is a size nine. So we got a size nine pair. Here is the tag, bada bing, bada boom. And uh, let's just pop it open real quick for good measure. I know some of you guys might be thinking I'm lying with how many Yeezys I picked up. But yo, I'm serious, guys. We picked up a freaking mother load. So here's a size nine pair right here of the Citroen 350 V2. So I'll throw this on to the, uh, the stack of boxes I have on behind me. And uh, next up, let's get to another pair. We have another bag, another shopping bag. This time it's from Champ Sports. So you guys guessed it, another pair of Yeezys. Some of you guys might hate me. You might be like wondering, why am I buying so many Yeezys? I'm one person. What can I possibly do with these? Well, stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll find out. But for now, the pair that we got at Champ Sports, we ended up grabbing a size eight right here. So size eight, let's pop open this lid and or slide it open that is. Bam, here we have it. This is the size eight pair right here of the Citroen 350 V2. So yes, that means we have four pairs so far and now on to the last pair. 
bam, here we go again, deja vu. And this is a uh, size 11 pair we picked up from Livestock. So let's pop open this real quick. And bam, size 11 Yeezys. As you can tell, definitely longer than the size eight I just held up. So here's the box for y'all. Size 11 Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Citrons for retail. Yes, that is five Yeezys, all for retail, well after the release date. If you don't believe me, if you think I am BSing, just give me a second while I try and hold up all these boxes. Oh, oh my gosh. I can't believe I got so many Yeezys, man. This, this is absolutely insane. I can't believe these were sitting. Like, does no one want Yeezys anymore? So we got five pairs right here. We got a size 8, 9, 10, 10, and 11. So the 10 is for myself. It's a personal pair. I'm not sure if I'll end up keeping them because they're very similar to the Sesames and the Statics. So we'll see what I do with that. But that does mean I have four extra pairs. So I might have the four pairs sit on ice. I might be giving away some for a giveaway this holiday season. So stay tuned, but if you guys do want a Yeezy giveaway, let's get this video to 2,000 thumbs up. And if we can get this video to 2,000 thumbs up within like two weeks, we will give away a pair of Yeezys for the month of October and maybe one for November. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit that notification bell down below. It would help me out a ton. Like the video and comment down below if Yeezys are sitting in your city as well. I'm curious where you guys are from and if there are cities that still have Yeezys sitting. I know some places are sold out, but some places still have a bunch. Like Toronto, they were at every single sneaker store I went to. It was pretty insane. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll catch you guys on Twitch. Again, link down below. Sneaker Talk CA on Twitch. Come hang out with me and my girlfriend. Sneaker giveaway there tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern. And uh, yeah, we're getting back in the groove of things, guys. I know I've been slacking. I've been up and down mentally, but you know, we're, we're trying to make a comeback and I'd love for you guys to be here for the comeback for the end of the year. So yeah, let's crush it for the rest of the year together, guys. Let's get this bread. Let's keep pushing forward no matter how hard times get. I believe in you guys. And if you guys believe in me, that would mean a lot. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have an awesome weekend. Peace out.